So at this point, it's important to stop and do a test try on to test that you have the right size. And even though you've cut everything and measured everything, no corset fits the first time. Um, what you do is first you can put in the lacings up the back and there's a special way to do the corset lacings and you would start with the first two holes going I think up and then the next two holes you thread going down and then you thread them going up and then down and that way you have you know a series of X's going down your back and the laces don't come in and out each time you put the corset on like a shoe. I mean, the laces go in and they stay there. That's why there are their hooks up the front. So then the lacings are just for loosening and then tightening after you've put it on. And it kind of takes a while, so I'm not going to show me doing every single hole. Up, down, up, down, up, down. When you've got all the laces in, it looks like that. And the laces across the middle, they're called bunny ears, technically, and those are where you can do most of your tightening at the waist. So, gosh, here I am trying it on for the first time. I've not really completed, and what I do is I stitch, baste stitch very loosely the side panels, and I made the seams go to the outside, so it's sort of backwards at the moment. And that way when I try it on, I can test if everything is squishing where it's supposed to be, if it's too loose in some places, it's too tight in some places, and that way I know if I need to recut one of the side panels or take in some of the side seams. And this shows you, you know, properly after you had the corset on, this is how you kind of tighten from the X's and pull the bunny ears, and that's how it's going to work. And then I go back and take out all the loose basting stitches. They're just very, you know, I did it on the machine, or you could do them by hand, very loose, big stitches. And that's going to get me ready to start putting together the corset for real, now that I have the measurements and the fitting. Uh, so for the side panels, you know, I have my strength fabric, which is the duck canvas. And I put the satin and attach each piece and then I treat it as a single piece. And again, I've used the binder clips because once I have all those layers of the duck canvas and the lining in it, no, not the lining, it gets pretty thick. And I start with the front, and I have the side pieces and the back pieces. And I'm just going to put the side panels that are one unit and attach them to the front piece and the back piece. While, at you know, I flip the little lining flap out of the way, of course, when I attach that to that. And so the lining, I'll deal with in a minute. And that's, you know, again, using the binder clips, because when you put in a pin, number one, it's hard to get through all those the thick, stiff fabric. And also when you've pinned it, it kind of makes a little bit of a little warp or a bump. And I find the binder clips keeps it a lot more, you know, flat and smooth for when I'm putting it through the machine. Okay, nice and flat and smooth. And I do to the other side. There. And then, of course, when you're stitching it down the machine, you've got to take out the binder clips, each one as you go. I, I can't really, even with a zipper foot, I can't really get past that thing. So I just hold it at the spot. And there we go, each one of the side seams. And I think I've marked with pencil where the seam goes, because you have to be very careful. There's eight side seams I believe with all the different panels and if you're off by a quarter inch on each one that could come up to help me with math two inches all over that you could be off even though one seam is off just, just a little bit so precision is 
important. <laughs>